folks, Peter here. Thank you for joining me once again on another burger cooking video. You probably didn't expect this one to be coming out so fast, so did you? Here we are. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of a Morningstar product, actually. Normally I don't consider Morningstar burgers for reviews since that's kind of the baseline everyday veggie burger that I would have. So I don't really need to do a, a, a review or a comparison, I guess. Maybe I should sometime. If you want to see it, let me know. It's probably going to be boring as heck. But today, I think this one warrants a review. It's a Morningstar quarter pound vegan cheese burger. I've had these for a little bit. I've been waiting to do a video. Quarter pounders from Morningstar usually are kind of sloppy, I want to say. I've had like the like the spicy black bean one or whatever they call it. They're cool and all, and they do like this weird like shape on the edge for some reason. We'll see. Hopefully this one holds up a little bit better. Dairy-free cheese in there, uh, vegan, 23 grams of protein, 27% less fat than regular ground beef. Those are the claims that they are making. That's all lost on me. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, even though maybe I should, but just being honest. Also interesting to me, is this is a Morningstar package of just two. Usually they sell these in packs of four, um, but I guess these are a larger burger, so maybe that's why they're only doing two in a pack. Uh, the cost is about the same as a four pack of just like the regular patties, uh, four or five bucks, whatever it may be, wherever you're at. I guess I don't really have too much else to say. It's a Morningstar product. I usually expect them to be pretty good. Uh, in my own opinion, I do enjoy them. The consistency, the flavor, the texture, all that stuff. They make some pretty solid stuff. The biggest draw for me on this one is actually that it's the cheeseburger with the chunks. There's gonna be chunks right there in the patty. I'm not gonna be adding anything to the burger as usual. This is just a test, taste, review, whatever you wanna call of the patty. Obviously, I know that I can add stuff to it and then it's gonna be even better, but I just wanna see what this patty tastes like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the pan fired up here and we'll toss one of these on and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the pan all heated up here as you guys can see. Took this out of the packaging, here it is. There's a couple little chunks around, not like in the pictures though, I guess. Pan's all nice and hot. And I'm gonna go and stop talking and we're gonna let this thing cook. So I'm gonna say that's about done right there. Uh, some fun things to note real quick. The, the shape here on the outside, as you can see, not perfectly cylindrical, kind of an organic shape, I guess you could say. Browned up real nicely. I didn't see cheese really melting out anywhere, but I think that's all ready to go. All right, so that was cooking the burger there. Now I do want to point out that my cast iron pan needs some seasoning right now. It's a little, it's a little beat up. 
but still works pretty good so no issues there got that cut in half as you guys could see uh, I do see chunks more little chunks all the way through there so that's a good sign let's see how it tastes Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. You can see the chunks of the dairy-free cheese in there, and they actually are coming through in the taste. Now, it does feel like it's a kind of a floppy burger. I mean, I'm just touching it here. As you can see, that's just ripping apart. It's got like kind of like stringy, stringy bits on it, uh, but it tastes pretty good. So it is a pretty good taste, the cheese aside. The actual, uh, the meat itself does have a pretty cool taste and texture. It doesn't taste or feel stringy in the mouth at all. I don't know how you would taste or, or, or tell that, but it doesn't fully seem stringy in the mouth. But it does taste really good. Could do with a little bit more cheese in it, but I can always add cheese on top, obviously. But the actual patty itself, yeah. It's got layers inside. It's not like a uniform consistency. Um, you can actually see bits in it, and I think that kind of helps add to the consistency of it, the texture of it. I do think that the texture adds to the flavor. Let me just find one of these little cheese chunks just by itself. So I just tried a little cheese chunk there by itself, just a little teeny piece. It seems kind of bland. I don't know if they're going for like a cheddar taste or what I can tell it's it's a cheese adjacent substance not a bad thing by any means but it's not really packing a heavy cheese flavor as it were overall I will say that I do like this a lot just the first couple of bites that I've had there it does taste really well I think it works really well now only getting two in a pack I think that's a little a little bit off for me but I'm really glad that I tried these and I'm definitely gonna enjoy eating the rest of this one once the camera's off. So if you can find them, check them out. Vegan cheeseburger, quarter pounder. Maybe find it where you buy your Morningstar stuff. I kind of hit or miss what's available where. So if you can find it, I'd say give it a try if you're looking for something a little different. Thank you so much for watching as always. That's gonna do it for this episode of cooking burgers or whatever you wanna call it. I do have plenty of other vegetarian patties to check out or if there's something you want me to find to try, let me know, leave it in the comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe so you can see more of these. I appreciate it a lot. Closing in on 2000, so kind of big news to me anyway. I don't know if it matters much to anybody else, but <laughs> it does to me, so thank you again. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.